Uh, it's a completely unique car. There's, there's only, there was only one built. They 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 uh, did build a, a second Ulster, but it was a different model. Uh, the car was a, a factory car built by Aldington at the, at the Fraser Nash Works for his own use, really. We think for, for race use. And it first appeared at, at Brooklands in 1931, and subsequently raced at Shelsley Walsh the same year. Uh, and then it. Uh, raced with the other Ulster, which was then still called the Ulster, in the 1932 Nuremberg Grand Prix. So it is actually a Grand Prix car. It entered the 1935 Monte Carlo Rally, where it didn't do particularly well. Um, but unfortunately then the, the, the owner was, was killed the same year, in 1935, and uh, his widow sold the, or gave rather, the aluminium bodywork for the saucepans for Spitfires uh, appeal. And uh, so the car then was just a chassis, and uh, it stayed in, in the family for, for some years. And, uh, uh, I don't know how many, uh, but then was was bought by uh, an intermediary who, who didn't do anything with it, although intended to, uh, until it came to the hands of Barry Peerless, who was a friend of mine. Um, and he uh, first took over the car in 1963 and commenced to rebuild uh, 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 in a very exacting to a very exacting specification, but never finished it at the time of his death in, in 2009. So he, he nearly finished it, but, but not quite. And so I, I then took over the car on uh, uh, when he died. I mean, we've only had the car uh, sort of race ready for the last year and even then we've had a few problems as inevitably occurs um, but uh, but now it, it's going pretty well now and a few more things to sort out and uh, uh, I hope to do quite a few events in 2013 um, having done just a couple of hill climbs over the last couple of years so yes I hope to be it'll be a competitive car